Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. It's Thursday, November 14. I'm off today and I'm heading to Las Vegas. And also we're gonna visit some place. I don't know yet where, but we're thinking of either going to Bryce, Valley of Fire, Cathedral Gorge, maybe I don't know yet, or maybe Antelope Canyons, I don't know yet. Anyways, I am currently printing a stick protection I made in FreeCAD for my Radio Master Zaro. And I'm thinking of not carrying this with me. Uh, I'm gonna check it in. It's been a pain, you know, it's heavy. Um, the stuff I bring always to some place. I'm referring to the drone and other parts. They're quite heavy. I'm referring to this one. Yeah, this one, guys. So I'm going to bring this with me today. We're flying tonight to Las Vegas. And I'll check this in. However, all the lipos are going to be with me. Anyways, that's not gonna that's not the point of my video today. Alright, um I had to pause it so I can go out. I just wanna show you the weather here in Illinois right now. I think it's around maybe fifty. Not really cold. Oh look at that squirrel. And yeah, like what I said, we're flying to Las Vegas tonight. Hopefully I'll get a seat because um, there's a there's an event in Las Vegas which is Formula One and again like what I said before right um, I get free flights uh, in United I don't know why <laughs> no my my daughter works for United Airlines and the benefit is that we get free flights but it's not always like um, successful flight I mean uh, when there's free seats then that's the only time we'll get free seats but anyways I'd like to uh, share a few updates about the stuff that I've been working on lately um, it's the helical antenna yeah the 5.8 gigahertz because right there that's where I fly that's the empty land this one was empty land before this is where I used to practice um, flying and then farther part to the east uh, it's still empty and that's where I do my long-range tests and I'm using Axi 2 HD patch antenna made by Lumineer and again look at this area look at this area guys um, there's tons of Wi-Fi hotspots here it's saturated with Wi-Fi for sure mostly it's gonna be 5.8 gigahertz and only a few will be using 2.4 gigahertz and I tried flying the other day right or last week and at about like 1.8 kilometers the DJI video signal dropped from 50.8 megabits per second to uh, oh look at the squirrel and then dropped from 50.8 down to like like 21 megabits per second and then I continued flying I saw a macro blocking on the screen for like a second that scared me and when I look at the SRT file it's a caption file which is also recorded by the DJI FPV goggles along with the mp4 file and I saw when I viewed it in Excel since it's a comma separated oh no no it's not comma separated um, it's a it's a caption file a subtitle so the value the lowest value that i saw was 4.6 megabits per second using axi hd2 and i'm pretty sure i was in the correct 
uh, my head was in the correct path I'm pretty sure anyways and I've started working on the 5.8 gigahertz antenna right and then I found this on the internet I'm referring to the model it looks fun right it looks nice but then as I learn more about the tolerance I mean this will work but I built a new one which is way 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 better <laughs> I made my own design the sign and look at the holes it's like I, there's not even any clearance that you can see this one is wobbly the one I got from the internet the one where I was showing look see the one where I was showing the open scan application yeah that that tool developed or made or generated the the STL file look 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 at this guys look I'm gonna show you look watch watch see because it's two pieces and look at the hole it's like three millimeters so now the the radius of the in the internal radius of the copper wire is not gonna be equal to the one that we that JC J Copen's website suggested mine will be exactly at same internal diameter which is 17.6 millimeters and it's one piece it's solid and I've got some some protection I mean support in the middle yeah like right here so it doesn't really move at all and also the distance between each coil each run each yeah each layer will be exactly the, um, the same distance which is 11.8 .8 millimeters unlike this one uh, it can be but sometimes it's gonna be like like 12 millimeters or maybe 11.3 yeah it's still gonna work this is the one on the left is still gonna work uh, maybe just a few few percent um, few percent lower maybe so of course I've made it that's why I'm claiming it's gonna work really well and then next week I'm gonna be I'll be receiving the RP SMA cable and then I, I have a plate here a copper solid copper plate from my previous years that from previous projects that I've used so I still have so I'll be able to create um, two pieces of 42 millimeter diameter uh, reflector yeah and hopefully one once I'm back here in Illinois we'll be able to conduct us and do the same kind of flight and see if if we'll be able to go past 2.3 kilometers yeah alrighty guys just wanted to share a few updates and if you like just let me know uh, I can share the STL file okay alrighty guys see you later